Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm memory planning for June 22nd through the 28th and this is actually going to be the very last spread I'm doing in my Erin Condren planner. I'll be switching over to my recollections next week and I'll definitely give you guys a walkthrough of the planner just so you know um, what it looks like and everything. But to be honest, I'm actually feeling really bittersweet about this spread um, as much as I am totally sure and confident about my decision to no longer support Erin Condren's company. I do still feel a little sad because I have been using her planners for quite some time. I think since 2016. Um, this is my fifth Erin Condren. So there's just been a lot of memories made in these pages over the years. So for this week, I wanted to do something that was a little personal and special for me. Um, I'm going to be using a kit from Simply Watercolor Co. And I decided this because this was one of the first shops that I ever purchased from and um, used a kit in my planner so I'm going to show you guys really quickly this was my first Erin Condren planner ever from 2016 and this was the fifth spread that I had ever done um, and this kit was actually from Simply Watercolor Co. So this is like super old school back in the day. Um, my planning style, it's really funny because it looks really different but also not at the same time so I find that really interesting and I actually used to use my planner functionally for work and so it has like all these student names all over it which is why you see these little cat stickies. Um, those of you who have been watching me for a while might remember that this is how I used to do my planning videos actually because I had to block out so many confidential names. But yeah, this was one of my very first spreads that I had ever done and um, I'm definitely kind of a nostalgic person and so I wanted to kind of wrap it up full circle which is why I decided to use another kit from Simply Watercolor Co. for my very last Erin Condren spread. Anyways, I know that was a really long explanation, but it's just something that's really personal to me and I just thought I would share that. So really quickly, this is a mini kit and it only comes with three pages. We've got this first one with the full boxes, this one with the headers, the washi strip, and the half boxes. And then this last page with some functional items like the bow check flags, um, some layering icons, deco pieces, sidebar stuff, more boxes, etc. So this is a small kit. Um, it should be enough for me, but if not, I will pull from my leftover stash. Um, so yeah, here we go. Last spread of my Erin Condren. I hope you guys enjoy, and if you would like to join me for the ride, then stay tuned. I actually filmed this spread over two weeks ago and I just never got around to recording the voiceover or working on the video. So um, I'm gonna do my best to explain everything that I did. Um, hopefully this won't be too much of a hot mess because it's been so long. Um, but as usual, the first thing I do is place down the bottom washi. And the washi from the kit this week is quite thin. So I was able to pull in my Simply Gilded Bow Washi and layer that on top, which I'm really glad I got to do because I love those bow washies and I'm really glad I got to use them for the spread and then for my sidebar the first thing I placed down is this blank box that is from planner just for you she gives them out as little freebies when you place an order and let me just tell you those are so handy for that little top corner because I usually have to white out the hexagon I never want it showing in my planner and having this little box just saves me so much time and also saves me white out um, and then I just go ahead and layer the quote box right on top I then placed down a strip of the thinner Simply Gilded Washi. I think I ended up switching it out at the end, although I don't quite remember why. And then I decided to place down some deco pieces on the quote box because I felt like it was a bit empty. Um, I had a really hard time deciding how I wanted to place down those pieces. And so I played around with it for a bit before I finally settled on just using a couple of the floral ones in the corners. I then placed down a habit tracker to track my working out, and then I used a header, and I think this was a bow checklist that came with the kit, which I'm going to use to track my happy moments. For my dinners, I used one of the flags from the kit and also placed down the Monday through Sunday box. Um, because I wanted to place down the extra washi from the kit at the very bottom, I needed just a little bit more space, so I go ahead and just scoot everything up a little bit so that I could go ahead and use that washi. I did have to trim it because it was just a little bit too long. And the knife that I'm using is called the Slice Precision Cutter and I just purchased that off of Amazon. 
I then decided to place down some date covers. Um, these ones are from Hazel Sticker, and I love that watercolor background. The date dots, I believe, are from either Nikki Plus 3 or Paper Rose Planning. I'm not quite sure because um, I have quite a lot of date dots from different shops, but once I'm done placing those down, I go ahead and move to Monday. I first placed down a foiled bow header on Monday, and again, I'm so sorry, I can't quite remember where those are from because I got them as part of a sampler sheet, but underneath that, I then used a hexagon icon from the kit and a coffee icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had some coffee on Monday morning. I then used a third box and a gold foiled planner sticker from Hazel Sticker as well to mark that I created a Black Lives Matter weekly planner for myself just to keep track and hold myself accountable for continuing to stay active and also continuing to educate myself. And underneath that, I then placed down a full box. I then used a today header with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did that evening. And before I moved on, I decided to swap that with the bow header. I think because that pink matched the um, bow checklist a little bit better. So I ended up using the today header at the very top instead. I also placed down a movie marquee at the bottom to mark a movie that we watched that night. And then the gold foil shoe sticker is from planning like a pro. In the remaining space, I used a little arrow sticker from the kit, and this tiny bow sticker I pulled in is from Chic Chic Designs. I just decided to add a little more foil in that area. And then at the very bottom, I placed down this gold foiled TV icon. I think that was a leftover from the Shop Jessica Hearts kit I used the previous week, and um, I marked that we watched the movie Selma that night. I placed down a full box at the very bottom of Tuesday before I scooted back up and continued my day. I started by using a bow header at the very top and it looks like I decided to scoot back down and place down a half box so I could block out some space. Back at the top, I used a third box from the kit and a YouTube binge sticker in my writing from Planner Just For You to mark that I watched some YouTube videos and also some Gilmore Girls. I'm almost done with the series. It's taken me quite some time, um, but it's so good and I honestly love it so much. And then I used a today header with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did that day. And we did go and grab some things at Rite Aid, so I decided to use this money icon and that's a really old sticker. I believe it's from Planning World. I cut up a strip of a washi strip that came with the kit and um, then I cut down part of the full box so that I could scoot everything down and make just a little bit more room. I found that I had a lot to include this week and um, definitely not enough space in my planner to mark everything that I wanted. On the washi strip, I used a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark a yoga sesh that I did. And then I used this adorable croissant sticker. I think that's from Happy Sherpa Paper Re to mark that my boyfriend made some homemade bread and it was so good, such a quarantine activity. Um, but yeah, it turned out really good and I wanted to note that. And then on the half box that I had placed down earlier, I used a TV icon from Magic Prince Co to mark what we watched that night. For Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then I used a bow header and this quarter box. I think this one was actually from my leftover stash. I don't think this one came in the kit. And um, to mark my coffee, I used this really cute coffee mug sticker from Fox and Pip. I then placed down a washi strip, I believe, and that today's script is from Artbox Stickers. I felt like that fit over the space pretty well, and I got to pull in some foils, um, and I used another three bow checklist to mark some things that I did. I did do some reading that day, so I decided to use this little book icon, and that is from Paper and Milk. It's so cute with Maru the Marshmallow standing on top of that pile of books. I just love it so much. Later that evening, some friends and I went on a walk around a lake, and we also ended up doing like a backyard happy hour and so I decided to put that on a half box. That cocktail icon I used is from Happy Sherpa Paper Re and then I also used another gold foiled bow from Chic Chic Designs to add some gold foiling and just a little decoration. I pulled in a gold foiled quarter box and that's from Nikki Plus 3 um, to mark the show that we watched that evening. We were watching this anime called Food Wars. We just like love food shows of all types. Um, so yeah, we really enjoyed that. And then that's pretty much it for Wednesday. So I move on to Thursday. The first thing I do on Thursday is use a half box and I layered a shoe sticker on top of a hexagon. That gold foiled shoe is from Planning Like a Pro and I use that to mark going on a socially distanced hike with a couple of my friends. After that, we went and grabbed some lunch and also planned out a trip that we were going to be taking. To mark that, I used this really cute sushi sticker and I believe that is from Mochi Kichi. 
I then placed down a gold foil divider that's from Samantha May Sticks because I wanted a little more space before I placed down my full box. And using a divider like that is a really great way to just add a little more gold foil and also just take up some space on the day. Um, then I placed down the full box and used a gold foiled bow underneath that. I had some me time that afternoon, so I decided to use a floral deco piece from the kit and pull in a couple gold foiled me time stickers. Um, so the pillow is from Artbox stickers, and then the me time script is from Hazel sticker. At the very bottom, I used this half box with a bow paper clip in the top corner. I'm not quite sure if that came in the kit or if it was part of my leftover stash. Um, but anyways, on top of that, I used a gold foiled film sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I did some filming that night. For Friday, I first started by placing down a full box at the very bottom, and then I placed down a bow header at the very top, just like I did on Tuesday. I had another Dalgona coffee on Friday, so I marked that using a circle icon from the kit and another gold foiled coffee from Hazel Sticker. Unfortunately, on that day, I got into an argument with my boyfriend about something. I was just like really irritated about something that he decided to do. Um, so it wasn't really so much of an argument because it was like fully one-sided. Um, but I decided to mark that using this really cute mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi. And I thought it was really perfect. It's like one little mochi like punching the other one. And it says, I need a punching bag. So I think that summed up how I felt pretty well. And then um, underneath that, I used a header with another three bow checklist to mark some things that I did that day. I ended up calling my friend because I needed someone to talk to about the whole situation. And um, that phone icon I pulled in is from Planning Like a Pro. On the third box, I pulled in another TV from Magic Prince Co. to mark that we watched more of that show we were watching on Netflix. And that was pretty much it for Friday. Moving to Saturday, I first started by placing down a full box. Then underneath that, I used a bow header with a, I think this is a washi strip. Um, that laptop sticker I pulled in is from Right Brain Paper Co. And I used that to mark uploading a plan with me that day. Um, then I did some reading outside, which was really lovely because the weather was really nice. Um, that Reading Maru sticker, again, is from Paper and Milk. It's on the same sheet as the other reading sticker I used earlier in the week. I then used a clipboard sticker that came in the kit with this gold foiled workout script from Right Brain Paper Co. as well to mark that I did a workout that Saturday. Um, the shoe sticker I pulled in is from Hazel Sticker. I then used a half box and this Grillin' and Chillin' sticker that's from Lexi Kylie Designs. I think this might be the first time I'm pulling it in, um, but anyways, I used that to mark that we did a backyard barbecue with some of our friends, um, which was definitely a good time. And then at the very end of the night, we went and grabbed some donuts because we were near one of our favorite donut shops. So I used this gold foiled arrow sticker, and I think that was part of a freebie from Nikki Plus Three. On Sunday, I first started by placing down a today header. Then I used a circle icon from the kit with a gold foiled sleeping mask from Artbox stickers to mark that I had a pretty lazy day on Sunday, which is always nice. I used a half box with a grocery icon from Hazel sticker to mark grabbing some groceries for the upcoming week. And then I used a full box underneath. I actually did a workout on Sunday, so I used this gold foiled workout sticker that is from Samantha May Sticks, and I also used this workout girl from Tuli Plans. I love those girl stickers, but it's sometimes tricky pulling it in because they're so tall. Um, so when I use a full box like this, it's like really perfect for getting to use that sticker. I then used a bow header and at the very bottom, I placed down a half box. And then in the remaining space, I cut down a bow checklist into two bows to mark some things that I did that day. I made a birthday video for my friend's daughter and then also did a group chat with some of my friends. I pulled in this gold foiled heart sticker. I believe it was from a leftover sheet. On the half box, I used this suitcase icon from Sweet Fox Papery to mark that I had to pack because we were leaving on a trip the next day. And that pretty much concludes my week. So um, I moved back to my sidebar and this is where I switched out the Simply Gilded Bow Washi for this white background one instead. Um, I think it may have been because the pink on that washi didn't match the kit super well. So I decided to swap it out for this one instead. I then go ahead and fill out my sidebar, which is always the last thing that I do. Um, I just track all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners, and then that is it. So I go ahead and show you guys the stickers that I have left in this kit, and then I do a quick vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I was able to pull into this spread. 
That concludes this week's spread. And like I said in my intro, this is the last spread in my Erin Condren planner. So it's definitely very bittersweet, but I love how this came out. I think it's so beautiful. Um, so I'm just really glad I ended it on a positive note. Um, so anyways, that is everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you also enjoyed seeing that little throwback from my very, very, very early planning days. It's always fun to see how like your style has changed or grown. And also I ended up looking at all the things that I did like over four years ago and it was just really fun to do a little trip down memory lane um so yeah that is it for today thank you guys so much for sticking around I know it's been a while since I've uploaded so I hope you guys have been doing well and staying safe please let me know if you have any questions and as always thank you so so much for all your love and support throughout the years um I'm excited to jump into my recollections next week I'm not quite sure what to expect so we will definitely figure that out together and yeah that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.